blessed self and all. Namaste. Om Tat Sat. This is Swami Nikhilananda and welcome to my channel on spirituality and Vedanta philosophy. Today we will talk about um, the meaning of integral yoga. Yoga actually comes from the Hindi word yog which means to unite or to connect. So that is what yog, yog or we call in English yoga is. So to connect our spirit or consciousness to the divine energy we call God. So that connection is truly yoga. What we see in the West is mostly postures and physical um, pretzel-like poses that people do and there are many, many different kinds of yogas people are following. Um, but that is just a small, tiny fraction of the real meaning of yoga. Uh, the physical body alignment, which is very good because it helps you to do asanas and to be more peaceful, uh, is just the beginning. So your body is a tool for you to do meditation and then eventually realize uh, uh, God realization. So that is the true purpose of yoga. But um, more importantly, um, uh, humble prostrations to my Guru Swami Jyotirmanand Maharaj, who is uh, an enlightened master. Uh, he self-realized uh, Brahma Shrotriya, Brahma Nishta. So he is he's emphatic about all of us following the path of integral yoga. So integral yoga is a, a combination of four things and I'll explain each one. The first one is Karma Yoga, the second one is Bhakti Yoga, third one is Dhyana Yoga, and fourth one is Jnana Yoga. And you, when you synthesize these four and uh, make, mesh them into your life, you find that your life becomes much more peaceful, happier, you radiate joy, and I can tell you from my personal experience, it certainly worked, uh, worked for me uh, by following these uh, four together, not just doing one. So Karma Yoga is yoga of action. So uh, that includes doing volunteer work, doing service projects, doing charity work, uh, helping the homeless, and all that is wonderful work. Uh, and why uh, did I mention all those kind of things? Because there is no expectation of any result from them to you. You are the one doing it and you're doing it without attachment. Like when you um, when you volunteer, you don't get paid, but what you get in satisfaction is much more immense. So that is a karma yoga and that should definitely be one of the wheels um, of your car. The second one is bhakti yoga. Bhakti means devotion. So uh, karma is action, you use your hands to do all those things, but bhakti, you use your heart. You use your compassion, you use your feelings, you use your sentiments, uh, love, those kind of things. And when you do that, you can connect with that universal energy that has created this whole universe. Uh, and when we do it with a lot of emotion, uh, the connection becomes much, much, much stronger. Um, so uh, Bhakti Yoga is the second part. Dhyana Yoga is the third part, which means that we uh, meditate. Dhyan means meditation going within. So this whole world is outwards, our eyes see on the outside, our ears hear on the outside, the nose smells from outside, the smell, taste, touch are all external. So the process for internalizing doesn't come intuitively or naturally. But that's where your peace is, that's where your happiness is coming from. So slowly when you learn these meditation techniques and uh, you connect uh, with, with that universal energy through Dhyana Yoga, that becomes Dhyana Yoga. Uh, together when we combine bhakti and dhyan which means we combine the, the devotion and the meditation aspect together it is called upasana or the higher uh, meaning of prayers and bhakti and finally the fourth um, uh, element is jnana yoga jnana yoga means uh, knowledge getting into the scriptures understanding the profundity of this universe why we are here what is the purpose of our lives how do we elevate ourselves how do we help others so these four things uh, karma yoga bhakti yoga jnana yoga dhyana yoga when you synthesize all these into your daily life so a little bhakti a little dhyana a little karma 
Dharm and a little Gyan um, by reading a few scriptures and by doing some bhajans and chanting the Lord's name or uh, doing some selfless uh, projects uh, and then meditating. Uh, and you don't have to make it a very intense project. Even uh, 20 to 30 minutes a day if you are leading with a very busy life can help you significantly in this. And um, so that's it on the meaning of integral yoga and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Swami Nikhilananda signing off. If you like this video, please share with others as it's an act of selfless service. Um, divine blessings. Namaste. Om Tat Sat.